<laughs> What's up, beauty gang? <sighs> so, I recorded my second um, makeup tutorial, or it's not really a tutorial, I don't think. Excuse me. I just called it. It's a makeup look. And you can find it on my channel. And I recorded two. Back to back. I'm going to upload the second one tomorrow. Oh gosh. And um, yeah. So. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all got to forgive me. Look at all this edge control. I got to go wash my edges. So, here's the gist of things. Like, I am burnt out. I am all given out. I am stressed out. I am just all out of everything and it is partially my fault because okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna just say this okay so my car is breaking down and <clears throat> it's something that I've been noticing for like a month now. But, you know, my personal mechanic and my dad just thought it was something in my head. I ended up borrowing money. Yes, borrowing money. No shame in my game to get a diagnosis with the dealer. Um just to basically prove that there was something wrong but i wasn't expecting everything that is wrong to be wrong i thought it was just an electrical problem something that was fixable because um that's the only symptoms that i've been seeing with the car and it came out the blue, but something about an intake for exhaust solenoids for the um, engine. I'm talking about transmission, torque uh, for the steering wheel. It's just failing me. Okay, so. Okay. It's just funny, like, how you literally, I need my car. I literally need my car. I have so much stuff going on to where I need my car. I have so many doctor's appointments that I go to. I have so much stuff going on health-wise where I just need my car to where I need to get back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But you would think because I help and look out for so many people or have looked out for so many people that it wouldn't be a problem to get a ride here or there until I figure my next move. <laughs> Negative. Negative. And that is my fault. That is entirely my fault because I just feel like I am a problem solver because I will, even if a person don't ask, I will just try to fix their problem. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just so they don't, especially if they close to me, like, I'm just a problem solver. And that's just, 
And that's why I'm in the situation I am in now. And my lashes look a hot mess because... I've been crying. And then, like, my nail is healing. But. <laughs> I just. It makes me not even want to. Help anybody. Like, this little bit that I am set back. For for brawling for people, it just makes me want to pay that back and not ever help nobody else ever again. Like it could be something as petty as. Paying for their food. And I don't even care if the person has looked out for me before. I just, it just doesn't even matter because I just feel like it's one thing to look out. But if when I need it and you can't do it because I'm a solid individual, like if you need it. I got you. And if I can't get that same thing in return, I'm all in my feelings about it. But it's like I'm in the position to where I can't really be like that because I didn't offer so much. I didn't offer so much and I didn't gave so much. trying to help everybody with their issues. I don't even know if this is making sense, but I didn't offer it up without a person asking that I kind of play myself. So people don't even hear it. And then I just And I can't even, I don't even want to put names on it because I don't even want to put names on it because at the end of the day, I feel like I feel like you will go out your way for somebody that ain't never been in, never been anything for you just to make yourself look good, but you would do me like that and we related like blood ties and you would do me like that just to look good for brownie points I just I don't know and then it's like okay but a, another part of me is like okay you grown time to put on your big girl drawers and not feel so emotional about it but I'm a freaking cancer like I am the definition of emotional when it comes to things and especially where I feel like if I do something for you I feel like it should be reciprocated even if you can't reciprocate it back to me the way I give it to you it should be reciprocated back in some type of form because if I mess with you, it should come back some type of way because we should be able to mess with each other that type of long way. And when I don't feel that way, 
<sighs> my whole balance is messed up. And I just can't deal. And I've been so depressed because of it. I've been so depressed because of it. It's been crazy. I didn't even think that my depression could hit a new all-time low, but it's crazy the things that we take for granted and then when it's you rely on those things to get get you by and when they fail you how it just since since sets off this this huge chain reaction and how you feel you know what i'm saying like you feel all different types of ways like <sighs> And then I'm just like, man, I do not want to be in this predicament. Like, I do not want to be in chronic pain. I do not want to be in a position to where I'm feeling like this over that raggedy ass car out there <laughs> that broke down on me every three weeks. Like, I just do not want to be here. In Ohio, I was living my best life somewhere else, and I got called back to action here, and I shouldn't even, but see, that's where you, it goes, where you get called to action. I was fine. I should have just stayed where I was, like, and I feel like because I didn't, things did not run as smoothly for me and i just had to learn things the hard way and now i'm stressed out and i'm just done with a lot of stuff like and i i guess it takes a lot to reveal itself to you like i don't even know if this blog is making any sense this morning but if you are feeling it thumbs up but i just feel like and maybe I am being hard on myself, but I'm just feeling like I brought this on myself because had I not been so helpful to certain people, I wouldn't have been in, I wouldn't feel so used now when people wouldn't help me. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't feel so emotional when they help other people over me. When it's not reciprocated back to me after all the times I didn't help them over and over and over and over. But yet, you know my situation and you know what I'm going through. And yet, I can't get rides for doctor's appointments. It's not like I'm asking you to take me to frivolous stuff like. To go get my nails done or go to the movies or shit. Take me to go get something to eat. I'm asking you to take me to my doctor's appointment. And I am not even getting that. And I'm just, I'm just not feeling the vibe no more. Like... I just want to be left alone, like, I just don't want to have much dealings with a whole lot of folks. I think I would do better by myself without the judge, ju the judgmentalness of a lot of folks and them weighing in on my life. And the stress and that, you know, setting off my anxiety because I am trying to appease 
certain people, like, I just can't no more, like, I'm done, like, and I think I had to come to this realization, and it took me a while, but I think this was the final step in, in my evolution, <laughs> my, in my, not my evolution, but me evolving to realize this, like, how done, done I am, like, and I'm just done, and it's okay, like, and I have to be okay with being done, like, and living my life for me, and not for everybody else, and not coming to everybody rescue, and learning to come to my own rescue, and learning that things will be okay and learning to step out on faith and learning to take care of me because at the end of the day when shit hit the fan I am the only person who I can depend on like it's crazy like yet I was everybody's person they could depend on like the shit is crazy I can't be that no more and I feel like the wind is changing and a lot of people ain't gonna like the way that I move after this but some might even say I'm acting funny but I I don't even know what to tell them because I have to do what's best for me. And um, I guess that's part of finding your own sanity and what works best for you. And it's, I guess I'm learning it's okay to shed a few tears. It's okay you know, I'm not perfect. And I'm okay with that. But I hope I made sense for y'all today. Um, Please stay tuned for Friday upload. Please go like my last video. Please go check out my IG. I uploaded um pictures for my last upload on there. Mm. Until next time.